In the kingdom of the peacocks, a most peculiar phenomenon unfolded. The twin sisters, Melody and Umbra, shared not a single similarity. Melody, the elder sister, was exceptionally beautiful. Her tail adorned with the radiant hues of seven colors. Umbra, on the other hand, had an unsightly tail that bore a striking resemblance to that of a crow. Look at the dark peacock! <laughs> Why did such a difference exist? Subscribe to Wong Fairy Tale to find the answer. Within the birthing chamber, the queen had given birth to two princesses, not one. The situation was dire. Desperate efforts were made to save the queen, but alas, they were in vain. The peacock queen passed away, leaving behind her two infant daughters. Dissimilarities between the sisters extended beyond their appearances. Melody possessed the graceful art of dance, a seven-colored tail unfurling beneath the radiant sun. <laughs> Conversely, Umbra was known for her clumsiness, awkwardness, and an unfortunate knack for causing trouble. <laughs> Melody delighted in exotic delicacies, while Umbra harbored a fascination for insects. Each time, Melody would express frustration and scrutinize Umbra. You must train to comport yourself as a distinguished peacock and abandon these strange dietary habits. Don't force me to comply with your wishes. I wish to spare you from being looked down upon by others. As a grand <laughs> festival approached, yeah. tradition dictated that the peacock who danced most beautifully would be chosen to perform before the divine goddess, receiving her blessings and power. That person would become <laughs> even more talented and powerful. This year, I must dance before the goddess once again. <laughs> Melody confidently proclaimed, Trusting her abilities and neglecting practice. Try harder, Umbra. You must put in a hundredfold effort to have a chance. After rigorous training, Umbra returned to her chamber. Who are you? Why were you in my room? I was Ravenna, the queen of the Crow Clan. Your mother, Umbra. <gasps> This is nonsense. I am a peacock, not a crow. <laughs> Allow me to demonstrate. <gasps> when the peacock queen gave birth to Melody, Ravenna had eliminated the midwife, disguised herself, and swapped Umbra with a crowling. She had even cast a spell on her own child to make her appear as a peacock. <laughs> She herself was the one who spread the rumor that the queen had given birth to two princesses. Thanks to you, I could now carry out my revenge plan! <laughs> Why did you go to such lengths, mother? The peacocks were always favored and praised, while the crows were at the bottom of society, treated unjustly. To overthrow them, I needed the power of the divine gem. And you were the one who would wield it, Umbra! So my lack of resemblance to Melody was due to not being from the peacock lineage? As Melody continued to be harsh and critical of herself, she found herself ridiculed by others. I vowed to make them all pay. <laughs> who is Umbra talking to? Umbra! <laughs> it's late! Go to bed quickly so you regain for the competition! Stop standing there babbling! <laughs> I must become the most beautiful dancer. Was I too harsh? On the last day before the grand festival, Melody began her practice. Huh? She noticed Umbra in the <gasps> distance, secretly huh? observing her. Umbra, don't hide! Come out! 
Anyway, I was the chosen one. But to make you completely admit it, we better compete against each other. Fine, let's see. Melody began her first dance steps. Oh. Oh. Strangely, <laughs> her legs felt stiff, no longer as agile and graceful as before. Oh. Melody fell and tried coming back to the dance, but her body no longer obeyed her commands. She had been too overconfident <laughs> and negligent in her training. It was Umbra's hmm. turn, and she glided gracefully across the ground like a gentle oh. breeze. Umbra had improved a lot. However, oh. Melody's elation turned to shock oh. as everyone cheered for Umbra. They believed Umbra was the chosen one for the performance, while Melody was seen as inferior. This feeling was terrible. I used to employ this negative approach in the past, hoping that she would improve, but unintentionally, it made Umbra feel pitiful beyond measure. I'm sorry. I had been too harsh on you, only wanting you to be strong. Umbra, forgive me. Umbra saw her elder sister in a pitiable state. She wiped away Melody's tears, and also realized that her revenge mission was not complete. The night of the festival arrived as predicted, and true to the forecast, Umbra was chosen to perform before the divine gem. She gazed at the gem, her eyes as if wanting to devour it. Umbra began to dance. and Melody watched from below with pride. Umbra approached the divine gem and it emitted a brighter light than ever before. Umbra accepted the benevolent rays of light. The peacock <laughs> citizens also bowed their heads in respect and gratitude. Suddenly, Umbra <laughs> snatched the gem from its pedestal. What are you doing? From now on, this gem belongs to me. <laughs> Don't do something foolish, Umbra. At that moment, the Crow <gasps> Queen appeared. You fools. Umbra is a crow, not a peacock. I placed her here to seek revenge <sighs> against you all. <gasps> Even though she was a crow, Umbra had never harmed anyone. <laughs> this made Melody feel even more sorry for her. Mm. Umbra, she just wants to take the gem and put her own child to live in danger. Don't listen to her. <gasps> Get out of here. <gasps> Melody immediately chased after her. Stop. <clears throat> if you know what's good for you, don't stand in my way. I don't need anything! Just please don't take my only sister away! Athena <sighs> furious struck <gasps> Melody. Please, Mother, spare Melody. After all, she had taken care of me since childhood. Be quiet, or I'll punish <gasps> both of you! No one will disrupt my revenge plan! <gasps> Umbra felt disappointed at her mother, who had been distant for so long, proved to be exceedingly cruel and ruthless resorting to any means to achieve her goals. <laughs> no, this gem belongs to the peacocks. Ravena grew even more furious and cast a spell towards Umbra. <laughs> Melody quickly unfurled her peacock tail to shield her sister. Her peacock tail acted as a sturdy barrier, deflecting the reverse spell back towards Ravena. Ravena was thrown back into a tree and fell unconscious. Melody's once bright tail was now tattered. Thank you for saving me, sister. No matter what happened, you were always a member of the Peacock Clan. Both of them returned the gem to its original position. <laughs> As for Ravena, she was imprisoned in the darkest dungeon, paying for the mistakes she had made. No! The story ended here. <laughs> Please press the subscribe button on Woa Fairy Tale to discover more heartwarming stories. The Green Forest of Dawn Kingdom is home to dangerous natural pitfalls of thousands of insects. The plants only need a little testing to take their lives. 
And in particular, huh? all the animals that have never been tamed the most brutally are concentrated in... <laughs> Ali, stop! <laughs> but no one knows that mm. the owner of this forest is also a bully, Ooh. a very beautiful human <gasps> girl. <sighs> How many times have I told you? It's hard for people to show up. Don't scare them. Come on, take responsibility for what you've done to be a good kid. You know, I was the same child that was brought by the wolf god. Since her birth, a bully had been left by her parents outside the edge of the forest, being cared for and taught by the huh? wolf god. As if she was a part of it. <laughs> the wolf teaches Aboli the human language, tells her about her fellow humans, hoping that one day she can find her source. After his death, he passed on his status as the owner of the green forest to Aboli through the valuable horn. She gets it, and she gets control of the spirit of the forest. Aboli, there's only one thing. Remember, never let a wild animal fight, harm the royal family. By the grace of the former king, I have left the curse that whoever uses the power of the forest to harm the royal family will be properly punished. Therefore, I must do the same good things to deserve the position of leader. Saying she did, Aboli brought the boy back to look after him. Huh? They two spent a beautiful, joyful time together while he healed his wounds. <laughs> Aboli taught him how to survive, made him gradually integrate into the wild. On the contrary, he also <laughs> taught Aboli how to calculate, <sighs> write letters, tell stories about urban areas and luxury cities. Through his story, Aboli gradually intrigued, dreaming about the mysterious lands where there were people like her. The time is limited. The young man needs to return home. Come on, don't cry. I'll definitely come back. When... Hmm? You've solved the math I left you. I'll come back and bring you a big gift. Mm. Although she did not understand that it was love, she still knew her longing and anticipation for him hmm. very much. Is it too, Ali? Yes, well, I must reward you. <laughs> when he came back, it turned out that the young man was Aiden, Prince of Dawn. Hmm? He wanted to bring Aboli back to civilized life, away from the old forest where she grew up. I like you very much, but this forest needs me. I can't leave. Since the death of the wolf, the hunters have appeared. The wild beasts have been murdered. Boli, become my wife. You can still protect the jungle with a no-hunt agreement. Receiving the promise that her people would be safe, Aboli also loved the prince and wanted to learn about the life he was born with, so she agreed with the prince to leave. Unlike Prince Aiden, everyone in the royal family doesn't recognize the girl's true self. They made Aboli change, become like them, from eating, standing, basic behavior, to very cumbersome rituals. Unable to fit in, Aboli was extremely sad, miserable. She even tried to hide her being bullied and treated unfairly by the queen and the princesses so that the prince would not be disturbed. Bully, I want to tell you something. Well, uh, uh, you tell me. It's just dust in my eyes. Hmm. There's something I've hidden from you. In fact, my father wanted me to marry the princess of a neighboring country to reinforce the military. The promise of protection of the Evergreen Forest was because he thought you have unparalleled power. I know people don't like me. Aiden, 
Will you leave me to marry someone else? No, of course not. There's actually still a way. Just... <laughs> Just what? Just tell me! Robbery rages. The prince who is capable of rebellion will receive a favor from the king. If I can afford to do that, then we can definitely be together. It's just a pity I'm not the queen's own son. No backing, military power, it's hard to get that favor. Witnessing the lover in bad mood, Aboli thought that sooner or later everything she had would belong to him. She gave the prince the war necklace, which could move the wild animals to become an invisible army. On the day of the destruction, the princess carried empty trumpets. The soldiers held their hands, and Prince Aiden was laughed at because he was alone. Hey, my brother! Where's your guardian? If I were you, how could I ride a horse and walk around and destroy the rooster in the house and say nothing of the robbers? <laughs> <laughs> the mockery abounds on the face of Prince William as he watches the mighty herd of forest animals that Aiden has seen. In the midst of the chaos, Aiden, instead of taking away the bandits, ordered an army to attack the rest of the princess. Then the army came to the palace to force the king to depose the queen who had murdered Aiden's mother. She was the one who hurt him and led him astray in the woods. Stop! Aiden, do not use the power of the forest for bad! Give up your hatred, please! <laughs> bad thing? Isn't she the bad one? My mother didn't have any fault for being so abused by her. Is it a crime to be of inferior origin? Do you know how painful it is to watch your dearest disappear in front of you, Aboli? I can't forget my dreams. <gasps> a little more, just a little more, and after ten years, we'll finally be able to sleep. Aiden could not see the danger from behind, as William coldly climbed up the rope, pointing the arrow at him. A bully just pushed Aiden out, and she was hurt. William ruthlessly came forward, picked up the horn out of a corner. He wanted to use the prison and control the wild animals, forcing his father to give him the throne. Open your eyes to me. I'm sorry, it's all my fault. It's all my fault. Thank you. Open your eyes. Don't sleep. Don't cry, Aiden. It's good that you're not hurt. Don't don't take revenge. Revenge, you can't be happy either. You're right. I was blind. My hatred has hurt you. The one I love most right now. Don't abandon me. As long as you're okay, I promise I'll let it all go. Shall we go back to the forest? Okay? Okay, I'll try. Before that, please destroy the horn <gasps> and free the wild animals so that they are not taken advantage of by bad guy. Agreed with Aboli's request, Aiden wiped his tears, drew his sword forward forcefully. William blew the horn and immediately the wolf Ali darting to the door growled as if he wanted to devour his master's rival alive. The green forest is home. Forest animals are friends. Infinite love. Forever not far away from. The wolf recognized the familiar voice. His footsteps slow. You stupid animal! Listen to me! Destroy them! I am your master! The wolf rushed up, but instead it threw William to the ground. Brother, hey, hurry up and do something. T -t Tell them to stop. Oh, brother, I'm sorry I can't do anything. Ali itself wants it. The horn then broke. From then on, the animals of the forest will completely control their own lives. <gasps> Witnessing his own plan was ruined. William got mad and then decided to punish the saboteur. Bring me with you. After a bully's whistle, a giant eagle appeared and caught them too, then flew towards the jungle, 
left behind all dissatisfied screams of Prince William. The animals got rid of the horn, but they still remembered a bully as their close <laughs> friend. They tried all the best herb to oh? cure the friendly master. Uh. Thanks God, you're awake! Followed the promise. <laughs> Iden left behind his wrath and hatred. He then lived together with nature way happily. About the Queen and Prince William, they were punished for their treason behavior and crimes they ever did in the past. No matter how much she dreamed, Demon Lord couldn't imagine that the beautiful girl who was dancing in front of his eyes was now a brave man. Huh? This result was predicted almost 20 years ago. There is a prophecy spoken by the ultimate witch of the demon realm that the boy and the twins of Phoenix would dissipate the demon's force. Nonsense! Believing in the prophecy, Demon Lord Adonis brought troops to the God Realm to root out the threat, waiting for the Phoenix's birth, which made the seal weaken. However, as soon as the twins were born, the sky emitted a red aura, covering the whole temple. The sacred aura repelled huh? the demons, causing them to retreat to the Demon Realm. Huh? Phoenix gave birth to a boy and a girl. Peacock and Eagle. <laughs> Your Highness, it's Princess Eagle and Prince Peacock. Huh? Why the Princess Eagle? If she was a man, she'd be stronger. Soldier, huh? announce that I gave birth to Prince Eagle, who will inherit my throne. And about Peacock, take him to the forest and take good care of him. Absolutely no one will know the truth. I'm so sorry. If the prophecy is true, surely Demon Lord won't leave it that way. To protect you, to protect the gods, I only have one way. <laughs> That's how the two children's identities were swapped. The peacock, apparently male, grew up with the name Arya under the title of Princess. <laughs> Because of being isolated, Arya's personality was extremely unpredictable. He often got angry with his servants around. Even with Lila, the strongest descendant of the Garden family, which specializes in protecting the gods. Who would have thought a favored and excellent woman like her have to protect the princess? Didn't everyone say Lila was gonna be Prince Aiden's partner? Yeah, I heard she was born with powers and abilities to detect poison very quickly. Well, too pity. <laughs> One day, the Nine Tails Fox of Dania, the Princess of Fox Tribe, heard that Peacock was the most beautiful species in the world. She was extremely jealous, looking deep into the forest to provoke. The most beautiful thing in the world? Looks like it's just some kind of old-fashioned turtle. No one ever comes to see me. Let's see if, after I smoke, your damn peacock can still hide in there. Unexpectedly, the breeze caused the flames to fall out of control, spreading everywhere. Because the fire is so strong, Lila is destroyed by force, from which there is no magic. For a descendant of the Guardian clan, this is no different from being an exterminator. Lila! Lila! What's wrong with you? There's nothing going to happen to you! I command! <laughs> I'm fine, Princess. The best way to protect what you cherish is to become stronger. Don't surrender to adversity. Huh? Since then, Arya stopped ostracizing Lila like she used to. Day after day of hard training, she determined to be strong to protect Lila. One day, as customary once a year, the servant of the phoenix brought a large bowl of medicinal water to Peacock. Despite losing the magic, Lila recognized it is a poisoned bowl and immediately knocked it down. That night, after hearing a loud scream in her master's room, 
Lila stormed in and discovered her beautiful peacock princess turned into a bold and handsome man. What I've been taking for the whole time is a suppressant to my power and male hormone. The power will be revealed if I was too sad or angry, which made the demon lord much easier to realize that he has been deceived. Don't worry. I'll do my best to help you. Well, training and waiting for the right time to destroy him. Thanks to the espionage, the demon lord broke the boundary and stormed the temple. He destroyed the phoenix and captured eagle Aiden. A prophecy? <laughs> That's lame. You shut up. I'll take you to your sister. Well, I heard she's a good-looking girl. Very suitable for the available demon queen position. Whatever you do to me, never hurt my sister. You? I'm not interested in men. <laughs> Despite not much contract or affection, huh? Peacock and Eagle were still sisters, and Arya was heartbroken and about to save Aiden. Lila wanted to protect her master, so she tricked Peacock into sleep. And she pretended to be Peacock, looking for Demon Lord. Few people have met through Arya before. Moreover, Lila also has a very beautiful appearance, so Demon Lord has no doubt. It's much more beautiful than the rumor. <laughs> beautiful, so beautiful! Show me your enchanting dance, quick! However, this is not the real peacock. She can't pretend the original dance. Wrong! You're an imposter! Soldiers, get her! Despite the perfect martial arts, Lila was subdued by the brutal power of the demon soldiers. Let her go! Due to the fact that too much poison were added into her body since she was a kid. An aesthetic couldn't beat Peacock Arya. After Lila left for a while, Arya quickly regained consciousness. Huh? <laughs> At least the imposter. All right, as long as you change positions with her, follow me back to the demon world to be my queen. <laughs> no, princess, you can't do that. Huh? Quiet, Lila. There's no place for you to speak. Fine, but before that, let me dedicate to my peacock dance. Don't you still want to see that? <laughs> Quick, you're such my future queen. You really know what I want. <laughs> the music sounded, and Demon Lord gradually immersed in the dance of peacock. <laughs> At that moment, Lila seized the opportunity, rushing oh. to seize the life of the old devil who was passionately enjoy the beauty. Not so fast. Huh? How could a treacherous demon lord be huh? brought down so easily? With just one waving of his hand, the demon lord flew Lila far away. Watching the huh? beloved got hurt, Arya couldn't control her emotions anymore. Her eyes turned red. Her body emitted a reddish glow. When the lights disappeared, huh? Arya appeared to be a more majestic man. You... No way! Peacock is a man! How long you filthy gods have been lying to me! How dare you! No more words. The fateful rivals plunged into struggle, which was about to destroy the whole thing. Demon Lord was gradually weakened, and one more hit was taken over by Peacock. What remains of a noble man holding supreme power is now but a cloud of black smoke that quickly vanishes to the unknown. Huh? Arya rushed to help Lila, the girl who had been with him in his darkest days. Arya, 
You did it. No, I should call you Aiden? <coughs> Quiet. Don't overdo it. <coughs> uh, huh? I seem tired already. <laughs> Eagle escaped. He wanted to give up the throne that belonged to her brother. Huh? Huh? Aiden? Nobody's better than you in this position. <coughs> yeah. I am gonna be fine when it's under my true self. This day is finally come. Having no greedy for pride or fame, Peacock and Lila return to the deep forest, living their peaceful, happy lives as before. Want to go home for dinner sometime? Of course. We are family.